Yeah, my name is Man 1100 I'm a wordplay wizard, you feel me? I'm a vocab vessel, that's what I do, you feel me? I put them words together. Um, I grew up listening to everything my older cousins listened to because they had a lot of influence on me. So I listened to a lot, Tupac, Biggie, uh, especially the Hot Boys, you feel me? Um, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Uh, uh, Master P, everybody on no limit. You feel me? Had you feel me, niggas was. Um, some of my favorites, like I said, I I like that word place. So some of my favorites was somebody like Nas, like one of my favorites of all time. Like he definitely do that. You feel me? And I and Eminem, he wasn't out like back then a lot, but he one of my favorites. Yeah, I me mean, got that word play too, man. Um. I really uh, was used to do poetry and shit, you feel me? And uh, my cousin came to me one day and was like, man, you shit tight, but you need to put it to some beats, and bop, 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 you feel me? And uh, started putting it together like that, and it just came together like that, you feel me? And I just started progressing, you know what I mean? Being around different people, honing my skills, you feel me? And then I was like, man, I really want to do it, you feel me? I, 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 really, I, really, wanna, I really want some longevity, you feel me? I ain't even going, that's one thing every artist should want, you feel me? But in, in the long run, I'm all about my people, man. You feel me? I'm all about helping my people. So in the long run, I want to be some kind of ambassador to, to uh, helping my 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 uh, the inner city. You feel me? The kids that that really get into music, not just music videos and riding in fancy cars and popping bottles. It's a lot of other famous composers like writing music, playing the pianos. Like kids in our city, down get uh, piano lessons at the age of five. You feel me? So in turn. Ain't, no, ain't gonna be no Beethovens from East Baltimore, you feel me? So we need more of that, you feel me? We need more people that's gonna just do more than just try to be a hip hop icon, you feel me? Cause music is worldwide, it's vast, you feel me? I think I just, I was blessed with have a way with words, you feel me? And I'm the type of person, I could adapt to anything, like I could sit down for four or five weeks and learn how to play the trumpet or the drums or the piano and get it right, you feel me? At the same time, I won't be getting my message across, you feel me? Now, I be having some dope ass beats, you feel me? But I just want to have my message across. I can say my, 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 my godfather, you feel me? When I was younger, he was real tight with my, my dad. My dad passed away when I was four. My godfather used to always take me to New York with him, ride with him, bump me at hottest uh, DJ Clue mixtape, you feel me? Desert Storm, you feel me? Going to New York, you know New York is hip hop through and through, you feel me? Through all the boroughs in Manhattan and in Bronx and all that, you feel me? And yo really like, he really instilled that hip hop in me like deep. Some of my most standout moments been um when I dropped the black and purple video. I really was already an artist in Baltimore trying to do my thing, you feel me? And um it just seemed like it opened people's eyes a little bit more, a little, a little different culture than, than was already tuned in to my, to my movement, you feel me? And I got a lot of fans from, from, from there, from like different countries, different states, like it was crazy. Like I did a lot of other stuff, but that right there touched so many different varieties of people that it changed me. And then another one was uh, the, the first annual Hip Hop for the Homeless event. That's an event they have annually every year, but the, the first event, Man, I tell you, when I did my thing, I felt this though, like if I never make a penny, if I never make another red set my, a day in my life off this music, I feel like I was successful and I lived my purpose because what I do musically, it was so passionate that it moved so many people that day, you feel me? Regardless of who was from where, east, north, south, everybody was huddled together. Like, it's a clip of it on the internet, but it's crazy, man. And it just made me think like, man, this just this this small right here, you feel me? And we can make it bigger. So those was like two of the most like defining moments in my career, I can say. Um, a lot, man. I got a lot coming up, man. Uh, I'm really trying to come back full throttle, cause I've been kind of absent a little bit. But um, I got this from the gutter up, reloaded. Re yeah, I mean, drop that out for the people, for the public. You feel me? That's something, man. I had dropped back, yeah, I mean, a couple years ago. But I got, yeah, I mean, 
put a re I put a spin on it, you feel me? Got something whole lot brand new on there, freshen it up, you feel me, for the people. Cause I ain't really do it like I suppose it did it the first time, you feel me? Keep it a hundred. And I got a couple hot singles I'm ready to drop for real, you feel me? Yeah, man. And I got these videos on, on online that I be dropping every week, you feel me, where I'm just going in. You feel me? I'm just going in, so I'm trying to keep people tuned in while I'm getting everything together, you feel me? But uh, I'm coming to a, to a stage near you, a, home, a hood near you, you feel me? I'm everywhere, man, and I'm trying to work with everybody. I'm trying to do whatever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do the right thing for my city, you feel me? What I look like owing you for OC. You niggas stuck in the past like 03, so I'm going in back to.